Well done, Zita Cha. Um, questions from the panel? Well, um, it, it doesn't surprise me that you've got an iPhone app and that you have Java and Prototype because yeah. the large challenge here is that there's very few iPhones as much as we might love them and there's very many of everything else. And the, I think you have two challenges, simply enough. One is over the air um, distribution of a Java app to heterogeneous phones has been shown, even at my own personal expense, not to work very well. Yeah. Um, so I'm seven million pounds down this month on that question. So I'm <laughs> feeling a bit skeptical about others' abilities to do Is it. That true and that? I bought my goddamn iPhone after I came to that conclusion. <laughs> um, second, you've got a lot of customers to sign up, yeah. like every small business. And so though I think that you've got a compelling presentation, I think you have two considerable go-to-market challenges, one of which is a big technology yeah. challenge. We want to hit the portal providers and actually like, uh, provide white-label solutions and a voucher-serving layer. So if we hit top table uh, within London, we've got 4,000 But top table doesn't distribute Java apps either. No. T-Mobile does. Yeah. Okay, so your white label would have to be through the operator because everything's not iPhone. Okay. There's only one app store right now. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Any other points? Um, I love the name. Uh, very, very memorable. I think you should get Ulri Kaka Johnson to, uh, <laughs> to, front, to front any uh, ad campaigns you do. Um, yeah, no, it's, it, it's good, but I, I think as, as Doug says, there's, there's definitely a lot of challenges in that, in that space. Have you, has it started yet? Have, are you in We've OPD? just launched our beta. So we're on iPhone beta. We've got up to 100 places available for you guys. You can go on vetchartrial.com and sign up. Cool. <laughs> Try it out. Uh, fantastic presentation. Um, the two the additional question I would say on, on challenges is just distribution, getting people signed up. You know, yeah. top table. I don't think they're going to be jumping at it. Um, so the only solution to the one that, that, that Doug brings up is um, you got to have a very very low cost base to make this work yeah. effectively. Uh, to just you know, there's a lot of thing, things we're trying to orchestrate at the same um, time, and yet the opportunities, the local newspapers are floundering. floundering. Um, you know, Yale.com is trying to relaunch itself, so the opportunity is big, so you, that's a good thing that you have in your favor, and what you've got to do is to get those, um, th what's going to make those people really want to work with you to solve the problems is if you've got a sizable group of people and you can say, I've got 10,000 people using yep. that, and you, so you just got to, you got to find those smaller audiences, and I, um, it's very difficult, but I think it's a big problem, I think a lot of the media companies are trying to solve this problem, so you've got to figure out how to be their friend establish dialogue with them, so good luck. Thank you. Okay. Actually, I have one last comment. I, I completely changed my mind while they said everything. The, um, actually, there's an easier answer on how to get rich really quickly. Just sign up every retailer in Palo Alto. Instead of going to where Java is, go to where all everyone's using iPhones, right? And you know what? You'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> Very good point. Good. Okay, thank you. Good cha cha. And, uh, Far be it from us now. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Andrew Kilpen. Um, this is Matt Rogers. We're the co-founders of Aroxo. Um, we've created a new online um, place to buy and sell, which puts you, the buyer, at the heart of the transaction. So basically, traditionally, if you want to buy online, there's many places you might go to find the information from price comparison sites to Amazon to eBay. It's a fairly time-consuming and complex process to actually locate what you actually require. We flip the model upside down, so as a buyer, basically just come to one place, a Roxo, and then we network with our um, suppliers to bring the deals to you. Very quick, very simple. Basically, so how does a Roxo work? Well, you only just literally say what you want to pay for an item. You look and find the products in our catalog and say what you'll pay. We then match you to sellers, um, and if there's an offer in place, you can literally basically buy it straight away, instantaneously, or you can negotiate. Okay, so let's have a quick look at how this works. First thing to say is all these screenshots are from a completely real system. Uh, none of it's fakes, all of it's 100% real. First thing you do, the most uh, powerful part of the site, is you say what you pay for the item. And you can see in this red circle here, the 290 pounds you've named for this 32 gig iPod touch. To make sure we get buyers in the right place, we have over here a thermometer that helps, helps you set the right sort of price level um, for the sellers that we have in the system. And then you get offers through. This isn't like just an email with a link through to another site. These are highly precise, very, very clearly defined offers. You can see exactly what you said you wanted. And you can seconds. see exactly what you've said you've been offered. And we rank all of that for you. You can then accept that and buy it and you're done straight away. 
or you can negotiate with the seller and you can send them a speculative lower offer. Oroxo is not an auction, it's not a retail website, it's not a price comparison site, and it's not group buying. It's a completely new way to buy and sell online, which is driven by the buyer. We've got our key sellers lined up already. We're partnering to drive traffic. I would be grateful for any questions on that. And uh, we launch on Thursday. Uh, that's Oroxo. Please go to oroxo.com. Uh, and you can leave your uh, details on there and we'll tell you when we go live. Um, thanks very much. Any questions? Thank you. Questions from the panel. Is anyone blown over by this completely new way to bring bars and sellers together? Is, isn't there a US, um, I can't remember the name, US travel site? that? Yeah, there's, yeah, a, there's yeah, a, yeah. a site called Priceline. They're slightly different. First of all, they're only travel. The engine we built does anything, goods, services, um, plumbing, electricians, anything you can think of. Uh, but Priceline, you're committed. So you go in, you say, I want to fly from London to New York, I want to pay £250, you give me your credit card details, and you're committed. If they find you a flight that goes via Paris and Hamburg and makes it to New York, that's what you're taking and you paid for it. On Oroxo, to create your want it note, it takes about 20 seconds to say what you pay. No commitment, no costs, no fees, uh, no worries. So nobody gets your email address or anything like that. It's completely it's anonymous until you actually make a transaction with the seller. That's the first time any details get passed um, either side. To me, I, I guess the, the key is having liquidity, hubs of liquidity. I mean, yeah. my first startup was focused on that. And you really ha the problem is that if you don't have exclusivity, if you don't know that somebody's going to actually buy, then at some point people get tired of playing around in the too low zone. Um, the way that sellers are going to look at it are one of two things from what I can tell. One is, is, is clearance, liquidation, in which case that's actually supply driven, not demand driven, or it's going to be um, based on a uh, uh, lead gen approach to things. And if, if at the end of the kind of dance, no, nobody's committed to actually buy, then at some point, I would think they'd get a little bit tired. So um, I guess the ways you can narrow it down is to focus on sp very specific sub-segments. I don't know. That, that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, we've not had any problems getting sellers lined up in the system. Uh, the reality is, is you want to make sure you've got enough buyers and enough sellers so that they're in balance. So as your buyer numbers grow, we'll keep taking on more and more sellers. And basically, we're selling pre-qualified sales leads. So these are people actually want the product or are interested in the product to actually list on the site. So it's, um, it's the first step of the buying process already. Um, and they're actually stating the price they want. Their trading history is on, on the site as well. So as a seller, you can really target and define individual customers that you want to select and go for. So what segments are you starting with? We're starting with consumer electronics, anything with a plug-in battery. Great. Be so you're starting with consumer electronics. If I hadn't been here today, I wouldn't know who you were. There's 20 million people who are potential customers who don't know who you are. Huge challenge, I yes. suppose, at least from, from my somewhat ignorant point of view. How do you get them to know you're the place to go to buy? Well, this is that the, was the question yeah. we wanted to ask. Oh, oh fantastic. Thank you very much. I love Mark. being your straight man. <laughs> go go ahead. That? Yeah, so we're, we're having discussions now with um, uh, a, a number of really significant uh, publishers, online and offline. Uh, what I'll say is we're not having any discussions with TechCrunch. I'm going to use TechCrunch as an example. One of TechCrunch's properties is a, a gadget review site called CrunchGear. And we could do a, a, a crunch gear marketplace white label, which looks like it's crunch gear. And what crunch gear would get if they got an if they do a review on, say, an iPod Touch, it goes through. You say what you pay, um, you pick your own price, and you get offers, and you check out, and you buy all on the crunch gear marketplace. And what crunch, crunch gear get for that is they get the ability then in the future to be able to go and cross and upsell to that customer, rather than just sending the traffic through on a, some affiliate link. They now know a lot more about what that user's done. So they can cross-sell, they can upsell, if they've got a new okay. post coming out, they can fire relevant traffic through to them. Final points, anyone? Well, I think, you know, when I met you guys um, in our office, I, I mentioned the founder of Blue Lithium is doing G Wallet in the States, and I think it's a similar model. Um, you know, and it'd be nice if, if there were kind of Two, two people in a race that the one based out of London would win. So I really wish you well. It's a huge challenge and I think it is about tying up with content and publishing and for that to drive it. Um, but you know, I think the demos is, is really superb and, and maybe tie up people like Future Publishing. I think they're looking for you know, clever marketplaces and enabling technologies and they have a lot of vertical opportunities. So good luck. Okay, Thank great. Thank you Check very out. much.